Hey YouTube, this is Trish Picker coming at you with how to cover those boxes, like I said. I'm going to show you how they open, what you'll need, how to do the little boxes with the paper. It's not Easter paper, it's actually paper paper. So I'm, I'm going to start slowly moving things out of the way so I can show you how to do the big box first. And then we'll do the little boxes, how to put the little stuffing in them. And these are the ones I already did. I made a little short on them, but I said a video was coming. So we're going to do the little boxes and the big boxes that go inside these big ones. So let me move a th few things out of the way. Because this is the boxes and they actually open... Like that and that's all where all your little boxes go okay and then you just tuck this down and they slide back into their little slots okay so that's what how those are done so I'm going to show you how to cover it and all the products except for the wrapping paper this particular wrapping paper the very bottom one I got from Timu. The boxes I got from Timu. The little boxes I got from Timu. The little wrapping paper, paper mache kind of stuff is from Timu also. So let me move more stuff out of the way. Um, for decorating this box, you'll need regular, like, packaging tape, double-sided tape, a pair of scissors, some wrapping paper, and the 12 by 9 box. So, um, my voice will probably go higher and lower because I'm moving stuff kind of a little bit out of the way so that you kind of know what's going on okay what I do to measure the amount of wrapping paper that I need is I lay down the wrapping paper Just as like as if I was wrapping a regular gift, okay? Um, this is made out of recycled paper, so it's a little bit more um, and there's lines on this one so that it kind of helps me guide um, me with what I need to do. So what I do is I usually make sure there's enough to at least go down to the line here, okay? And now some of this is going to be wasted, of course, but I have to make sure there's enough for the top, too. So I'm going to go bigger everywhere. I would rather waste a little bit of paper than not have enough paper. So... Okay, so there's that. Let's put that down there for now. Okay, and the best way to do this box, and there's actually a couple different tutorials on how to fold these boxes up. I had to actually hunt one down myself. So, because like some of them were shorts and some of them were like full length blown videos which is what I kind of needed so you have to kind of fold here fold here and then you'll see there's a little flap here 
okay this flap goes inside this flap both of the flaps go inside of themselves and you'll see there's a little notch here well if you look in the bottom which it's kind of hard to see but i'll poke it out real quick see it comes right out like that well when you go to fold it this notch will fall into that notch so we're going to fold these two sides up and i'm going a little bit slower than most will do it because I don't want you guys to get confused because I got confused and I had to watch it like eight times. So see how it took up that space. Well now all I have to do is just turn it around and do the same thing again. Fold the two sides in. knock out that little notch and I always just clean up my mess later because I had a lot of I had you know a number of those on the floor yesterday and my husband's like please tell me you're gonna clean, clean that up and I was like of course I am look I clean everything up else up I do so what I do is I make sure there's enough paper on the sides to go inside the box and on the inside so like I said I'm probably going to waste quite a bit of this paper which doesn't come as a surprise to too many people okay and what I do at this point is I kind of line it up the best I can because this is where you kind of got to pay a little bit of attention right here on these little notches right here those are for the top which are these little tabs right here they feed into those little things well when you have to cut your paper to cut a slit either you can wrap the whole thing and then just try to find where that slit is and cut it. Well, I ain't that. I ain't doing all that. So what I do is I take my scissors and I go right there. Okay. I go just before the line. And I do it on the other side also. Okay. And then I make sure that they still line up and see how I'm saying like you're openings are still showing so that's what you want okay and me I'm going to wind up cutting as much as this as I need to make this work because I would rather cut it off than leave it on and be folding down paper and making it a jumbled mess okay but I see that my paper right here is a little bit too long so instead of like see how it's like right there well what I do is I take the scissors because I'm a little bit strange about that okay and I cut that little piece off and just set it inside the box for a minute okay and I go the whole length of the inside of the box okay um, so I peel that back down again so that I can see the whole length of the box from end to end. So I make sure I have enough. <gasps> Woo! I don't have enough. So 
so I just ran out, which I had a feeling that was going to happen. So give me about one second, because I got two more rolls. So you can hear the sticky again. I just took this, all this off, um, because I ran out of that other tape. So. That's what happens when you run out of tape because I did three, the, uh, there are three boxes. So, like I was saying, just go edge to edge with your tape. And of course, at first it wants to stick to you, but eventually it will stick to the box. It just likes to be what I consider over affectionate to you because, you know, like I had heard in regards to this double tape side of tape, it is highly sticky. It is very highly sticky. So I set it upright inside this box and then I cut as much as I think I'm going to need, okay? Like there's not a set number amount. But on this side, because of the fact there is only so much paper, I'm just going to go to the edge. Okay. So you can either just put them on the insides and keep going, or you can throw them in a trash. It's up to you. Um, normally, I would have a trash can right by me, but right now I'm just using the floor because I can pick it up. I'm done. So what I do is I turn it. and I work on the side. Okay, so we put the scissors down. I um, actually, I made the same mistake last time. I'm going to go all the way. Sorry about that being a little loud okay because so, I want you to see this I'm going all the way to the back side because I want this to stick really well because I didn't do that on one of the boxes and it kind of got a little bit what I would can say it wanted to give me a little bit more trouble than what I thought was necessary to do the job okay and what I do is on this one I make sure that I have enough which I do okay because on that particular one it's going to get folded down like that Okay, but you can't fold it at this point because you got to do something else. So just make sure you have enough paper. Okay, and I was very, very close to stabbing my foot just now. So just be cautious of things like that. Okay, so now we can go back to the side of the box. Actually, I'll do it from the 
a side angle so you can see what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to cut it here. Okay? Even though I don't need this much paper. But I usually will do this. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's see how I can get this to work. I got it to work last time. And now it wants to show off, like, I don't know what I'm doing here. So. We're just going to have to probably do that. Yep. Yep, had a feeling I was going to have to do it like that, okay? So, then I got to press it in here, because I knew there was something that I was doing wrong here. Um, so, um, now I remember why I have the actual packaging tape. Okay, so now I take this out, and you see where it's creased. I cut it. And like I said, you can put it in there, or wherever you'd like to put it. You know, typically it would go in a trash can, but I don't have a trash can readily available right next to me i would have to run back and forth to the other room and i've already done that twice and i want to pay my undivided attention to you guys because i want you guys to see how these are done you like i said you can do them for birthday i do have wrapping paper for birthdays for people who are like closer to like to the end of the month or the middle of the month or whatever um so you can do that so because I know what I can do let's see if I can do that Sometimes it will stick in right away and sometimes it won't. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this in here. And then I'll fold it back over so that I don't have to. Yeah. That will work. See? You learn something new every time you make one of these boxes because... The last two times I've made the boxes, I haven't done that. Um, so, um, I was kind of taping the edge right here, which I probably still will, but I wasn't doing that because I figured, nah, it's fine. Nah, it's not fine. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look presentable. And I'll be giving these to family members and I don't want them to think I'm trying to be cheap. So, because you can make these for coworkers, you can make them for family, you can make them for friends. Like if you have a best friend that you really know that they really enjoy you know, smell good stuff, then this is like a perfect gift for them. Okay? So, 
Now I'm going to do Okay, this top piece, like I said, this flap right here, you have to cut to there. Okay, you cannot leave that on there. No how bad or how bad you want to. You should not do that. Because then you can't use that flap. And you need the flap to put into there. Okay. So, to save myself the headache, because I can say, I tried to go rogue for one box by itself. And it didn't, it didn't come out very well. I mean, it, it does the trick. Okay. I'm not going to say that I did a awful job on it, but I wish that I would have done a little bit better of a job on it. Okay. Okay. So now... And see how the cape wants to kind of stick to you. So you have to kind of know. certain things about this paper situation because like I said I did not know and I learned The hard way very quickly okay and on this corner if you remember it has a little bit of a slight angle so that's what I do to fix that remedy that because the way that it has to go down into the box it's kind of like an odd little groove that it fits in. So it has to have enough room to go into the groove. So there's that. Now we can move to the other side. I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to keep up with me because I'm trying to go slow enough so that you guys can understand what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And if I'm going too slow, I'm sorry, but I want everybody to be able to enjoy or think about, you know, possibly trying something they've never tried before too. So like, you know, be adventurous. Don't just think that because you've never done something don't mean you can't try to do it you know what I mean it sometimes it's beginner's luck and sometimes you strike completely out you never know but if you don't give yourself the opportunity to learn and grow and try things then how are you going to know if you like it or not? So, that's the way I look at things. And maybe I may not be the right person 
to be saying something like that because it took me a long time of a seam ripper for having to take so many things apart and my years of doing things that I've just learned if I don't want to have to redo it time and time again and of course I could turn this paper into because I have a paper shredder um, I could dump my paper shredder and then shred this and turn it into the paper mache that goes inside those little boxes but I ordered paper for that so I'm not doing that Typically I would, but I'm not doing it this time only because I already had a plan in mind and in motion in my head with this particular box. So I didn't want to so you know you can even buy inexpensive boxes you know from the dollar store like there the boxes don't have to come from timu because these came in a pack of 10. um i will not be using all 10. but I will be using a number of them okay so um like I said only because I knew how many I needed I couldn't get it in a smaller pack of what I actually needed so I had to buy the bigger pack and if any of my family members would like to do this for their family relatives or what have you <clears throat> they're more than welcome to reach out to me to get my extra boxes that I am not going to use because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the extra boxes at this point. I know I have a few. I don't have like abundance amount. But I will have a few left. So. But for the price that I paid, I think I only paid like nine dollars for ten boxes so to me it was worth it for the few boxes that i did get and of course someone out there is probably going oh my god that's so much waste of paper but like I said I may decide to make it into paper mache I think that's like I said I think that's what it's called um, I'll tuck that into there Bring that over. Oh, this one's a little bit long. What happened here with this cut job? I think I got a little wild with the clipping and the snipping and the running my mouth, running my chops. See. And that's the other thing is sometimes you can totally think you're on track and running just fine and then you get to measuring it and totally run into that problem 
So, you know what I mean? Like, you don't. And mistakes in, are inevitable. They are going to happen. That's why there's always, um, I look at it this way. There's always extra paper and there's always extra boxes that if I was like, um, not real happy with X, Y, Z, I can redo it. But because I don't have more wrapping paper right now, um, I'm going to have to probably reach out to family members or order some from Timu. I'm not sure. Haven't gotten that far. I usually try to take it steps at a time because like I said I'm on a small budget and I'm trying to do this on a small budget and people like that do have financial restrictions on their life don't think that they can do you know like or they feel like they need to compete or whatever the case is you don't have to do anything that your heart doesn't desire that you want to do. For no bodies, no how, no way. And I believe that. If your heart ain't in it, don't do it. That's the way I believe. And don't do it because you feel like you have to. Because that's like the worst reason in the world to do it well they did it for me so now i feel like i gotta do it no you don't nobody telling you how to do nothing if your heart ain't in it don't do it and This tape wants to eat me alive here. Okay, let it stick on the paper instead of all over my hands. Okay. And that always happens. Always happens. You get a crack. And that's why. I get packaging tape because I usually always have to fight with one little corner so then I get this tape which I have if I could find my other roll I would be in a lot better shape because I have one that's already started that's like just to straight up cover boxes you know like to actual send the in the mail um, and then what you do is you fold these inside here and then Fold those inside there. Okay. And then I put a piece of tape this way. And sometimes I'll just take like a little piece of the wrapping paper, which I will show you how to do that. Okay. So you can't see 
what I've done. Okay. And you just put it right up there like a band-aid and nobody never knows. I mean, of course, now the world's going to know because y'all saw me do it, but I have it on another box, but because it happened again, now the mistake's going to be there for the whole world to see well everybody that's on youtube anyway that watches my channel but i know you guys know i'm only human and like i said mistakes are to be had it's if you're willing to show them or not because a lot of people will would have edited that out and been like, oh, it was fine. It was fine. Nope. I'm not editing it out. I'm just going to roll with it. And then on this side, I'm just going to put a piece of tape right there. And there's that box, okay? So, bam. That's it. Because, like I said, you have to be able to open and close these flaps. So, I put any tape or anything on that edge where these flaps go. You're not going to be able to get those flaps in. Okay, so there's that. Now, we're going to do these with this. I got the red and white paper with all, these are all, I, these are all mixed, okay. I got the mixed ones and white. Because it was like red and white kind of situation. So. Um, let's get her open. Um, and I'm not. For sure how I'm going to put them in there. I don't think I'm going to put them in order. Like I said. I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to open that box. I'll do a row or two. I'll show you how the bottoms of these go get put together. Okay, so you can tell the top from the bottom. Well, technically on these ones you can't. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. But they're pretty fairly self-explanatory. They just bend. And they fold up just like a box. Okay. Okay, so no matter how you put it in there, which this looks like more like the right way, because the 24 is all the way around, okay? So what you would do is now at this point, open your box, set your box inside here. Oh, my boxes don't fit. Oh, well. Well, I'll probably have to give them open give them to them open whatever um so they said their bo the boxes were two and a half by two and a half but this more looks like a four and a half by four and a half so we're just going to move forward but anyway it's just Fold, 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 
fold, fold, okay? But I may have to do two boxes per person because the thing is, is look, if I go to close it, it's not going to close now at this point. So I may just have to tape it closed or put like a ribbon, which, and then do the other half. I don't know. Um... So we'll see how far we go on this. But I will we'll leave it open so I can do the paper mache. So fold, fold, and I'm just going to start leaving them open now at this point because I'm going to put the oh wrong way this one needs to get turned over So let's continue. Okay. So I'll do those four and then I'll do some of this paper and but I'm not gonna continue going and keep you guys all ready any longer than necessary. So you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. So what you do is you just take you paper mache out and you decide how much paper mache you want to put in each box um, now I'm not going to feel so bad because I think I got some of these packages and I got more than one item to go per package so now I don't feel so bad that these boxes are actually a little bit bigger than they're supposed to be. So, that's fine. Um, so, anyway. But of course, by the time all this stuff is done and said and everything, and it has its bow on it because like I said I'm probably going to have to string a bow on it to help close it because once they get it in their possession because like I said there's probably going to be two of them and they'll be probably stacked up um they'll um already know what they are and then on the other one I will probably cut the top off and just lay it on the top or whatever I haven't quite figured that out yet now that I know that they don't actually technically fit so remember if you have nothing nice to say to somebody to say it about somebody or something don't say anything at all bye